Want to span 8 Creek on Residential Driveway Bridge. Want to carry up to 4 ton vehicle load. Can I do it with multiple 6 inches I beams and 6 inches reinforced concrete? What size beam would I need? Hello. How wide will the bridge be? 16 feet. Wide, spans 8 feet. Sits on 2, 2 feet. Wide walls at the side of the creek. Guessing the steel would need to be 12 feet. Long. I mean the width of the bridge, not the span. The width would be 16 feet. For a 6-beam bridge, using an 8-span and 16-width for design and assuming a vehicle load of 8,000 pounds, you can use the following, W6 by 12, 50 KSI, steel beams. This beam is 4 wide, 6 deep and weighs 12 pounds per linear foot. You will need to provide solid mechanical connections between the concrete deck and the top flanges of the steel beams. I am using a 16-wide deck, 6 beams with 3 center-to-center -center spacing and 6 from center of exterior beams to edge of deck on each side. You will need to provide solid cross bracing slash blocking at each support and at midspan. Thank you. I have a couple questions at the end of each support. Can the beams just be held in place by rock and mortar and turn down concrete or do I need to block and weld there as well as midspan? Also, what would be the best way to attach the concrete to the top flanges? Weld rebar loops. Or should I drill the flanges and put in some type of bracket? I have attached a copy of a drawing of a typical diaphragm. The general method to connect the concrete deck to the steel beams is to use studs welded to the top flanges of the beams. I have attached a sample picture below. Hope this helps. I'd like to point out that a professional engineer's standard of care typically includes a site visit to assess field conditions and get an overall understanding of the structure. This can obviously not be accomplished through the internet. The information provided here is meant for planning purposes only, general sizing and budgeting, and is based on the information provided by you. All loading cases considered are for vertical loads only, no lateral analysis has been completed. The information should be verified by a professional engineer who can visit the site to ensure that potentially important information has not been overlooked or omitted. I open the attachments. Thanks for your help. This planning was crucial. I have to have an area of 8x3 of water under the bridge but had to match the top of the bridge with a county road of only 20 feet. To the north so I didn't have the luxury of using just any oversized beams. Thanks again. Glad I could be of help. Good luck with your project. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.